it's Margarita, and today I'm going to tell you about five fragrances under $50 that every man should own. That's right, fellas, this one is for you. I crept into Hubby's collection. He doesn't know I took these and brought these down here <laughs> because I wanted to spill some tea on some affordable fragrances for men. Now, these are my top five from Hubby's collection. It was really hard to find these because I did want to make this under $50 and he does have expensive taste. That said, you do not have to spend a lot of money to smell expensive. So these five are going to have you smelling great, not smelling cheap, and also won't break the bank. Number five, Burberry Touch for men. This fragrance has been out for quite some time, and this is an oldie but goodie. This one is an, actually a toilette, and it's just really fresh and clean. The scent is honestly in the name. It's touch. It's not overpowering. It's very fresh, but it does have a little bit of bite to it. So if you are a more distinguished gentleman, this will be great for you if you want something to wear even as like a daily driver, that's not going to be overpowering, but still makes a presence. I'm not going to go into notes, but you can feel free to check them out on Fragrantica.com or Parfumo or there are other sites that will list notes. I'm just going basically uh, solely off of just scent and feel and the vibe that it gives. But yes, number five is Burberry Touch. Now, before I tell you what number four is, if you have not smelled this one at some point in your life, you have truly been living under a rock. And this is none other than Cool Water by Davidoff. Now, many people don't know that Davidoff is actually a cigar company that happened to make fragrances. <laughs> and Cool Water has been out forever. If there ever were an oldie but goodie, this is the one. It's aquatic but to me it's it's powerful it's a strong aquatic a little bit goes a long way and it's funny because this is the toilet version and this is loud um it lasts all day it smells great on clothes this is something you can wear to work another good easy reach something else that won't be doing too much this is also great for after five if you wear this people will know what it is it's got a very distinct scent like i said it's been out for a very long time but this is one that is so affordable. It lasts a while. You get a lot of bang for your buck and it really smells good. Now, number three, number three, we recently found, I would say in the past six months or so, this is a brand that I have liked for years. And I've um, one in particular by this brand, um, clean cotton or warm cotton, one of those cotton ones. It is just the best clean scent that I've ever owned, but we found an even better one, clean skin. This right here is one of hubby's personal favorites. So much so that when he smelled a sample, he was like, I need that now. So I ended up finding this bottle on Mercari at a huge discount. So that's how I was able to get it for under $50. And all these fragrances you can find on Mercari for next to nothing or, or just aftermarket or gray market because they've been out for so long. So the original prices of these may exceed 50, but these can all be obtained for less than 50 bucks. Now, clean skin to me, is just one of the best musks. There is nothing sexier than a musk. Like it just really amplifies one's own pheromones, one's own personal scent without being stinky. It just, it puts something out into the air that you can't even pick up on a conscious level, but your subconscious is like, oh my God, where is that coming from? That's what this one does. He uses this to layer a lot. Um, and musks in general are wonderful as a base note for just layering and just really getting the your own personal essences amplified. But clean skin does that. This is a great unisex scent, but on a man, there is nothing like a nice clean musk and clean classic skin does it. Now, number two, this is another one that is a cult classic. It retails for over $100, but it's been out for so long you can get it for like 30, 35, 40 bucks. Versace Eros, this right here, and this is also a toilet, but it performs like a parfum. This smells so good, you guys. This is the third bottle that we've had of this, and this is, ooh, there's like two sprays left in this. So yeah, I bought a backup. So this is the second bottle. I thought I grabbed his third bottle. I bought him a backup. This smells so good, y'all. Eros is like 
a nice, if you like a nutty fragrance, it's not gourmand, but it is nutty to me. There's nothing like a smell that's earthy, but not patchouli earthy. It's like a woody, nutty, um, almost like a hazelnut without being sweet or gourmand. It's really hard to put it into words, but it just smells so good. It is sexy. It is date night approved. You can wear this to work. Just don't overspray it. If you want the ladies attention, that Eros is going to be the one. And last but not least, and I have to say this, in my opinion, is the sexiest fragrance ever made for men period and whew, just thinking about it and it's funny even people that i smelled it on that weren't my husband it, it, it's a smell that just makes you turn around like like somebody has this on it is one of those scents that makes you stop in your tracks and just be like that person smells so sexy even if you can't see them and that is none other than unforgivable by sean john this right here fellas i know i shouldn't be telling you to tea but I'm going to tell you because we're here. If you want to seal the deal on that date, <laughs> this will strongly increase your chances. There is something magnetic about this scent. Again, I don't have the notes in front of me, but you know how they call some fragrances panty droppers? Yeah, this one is one of those. It is my understanding that it was actually inspired by uh, Milchsam Imperial by Creed. These do smell very similar. Um, and if I mispronounce that, I'm sorry. French is not my native language. <laughs> but you know which, which one I'm talking about. If you want a more affordable version of that, Sean John's Unforgivable is, is it. The name is so appropriate because it is just like, it is just so wrong how sexy this fragrance is. This is a small bottle. He doesn't wear this often. And I think he doesn't wear this often because he knows how nuts I get when he wears it. He just wants me to act like I have some scent sometimes. <laughs> so, <laughs> but there is not a man that I have smelled this on that has not smelled amazing in this. But yes, this right here, hands down, the sexiest fragrance I've ever smelled on a man. If you know of any other ones that did not make this list that you think are sexy. And I think I might make a list of fragrances for men that are unsexy that they think are sexy. <laughs> Because there's a couple that I was like, oh, if you want to see a video on that, let me know in the comments because I need to let y'all know what it's just not hitting for me. Uh, <laughs> but people are buying these like hotcakes and you'll be surprised at some of the fragrances that made my unsexy list of fragrances because a lot of people like them. But anywho, that's another video. Let me know in the comments what you think of these. If you or your man has these. If there are any that you really believe that I missed, also like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with anyone who loves to know the tea on all the things that smell good and some of the things that don't. And until next time, I am Margarita and you have an awesome day. Bye.